What are scoliosis corrective exercises? Scoliosis causes the spine to bend and twist unnaturally, but people with scoliosis can still exercise. In fact, many patients with scoliosis, especially adolescents, have no effect on their ability to perform exercises and perform very, very high level exercises like competitive sports, gymnastics. They can do all types of things their counterparts without scoliosis can do. People with scoliosis, in fact, need to exercise, not only to keep their spines flexible and responsive, but really exercise has a great effect on human health and well being. And therefore, patients that have exercises, that perform general exercises, normally have more health and well being, which allow them to respond better to corrective treatment of scoliosis. Now, when we look at exercises that potentially have a corrective effect on scoliosis, these are very, very different than just general exercises. And these exercises can be used to help treat scoliosis. General exercises themselves are not considered scoliosis specific, meaning they're just for general health and well being. And non specific scoliosis exercises, we believe, have no effect on scoliosis directly. However, there can be indirect benefits, which we'll talk about later. General exercises are normally not considered scoliosis specific because they're not designed with the curvature in mind, meaning they're normally bilateral symmetrical exercises will have no effect on potentially helping manage or reduce scoliosis. Patients can be very, very fit and their curves can still progress like we see very often in adolescent patients that are growing and developing and they're very strong and very fit and they can perform lots of activities, but the curves are still worsening because the, how strong someone is is not related to how much their curve may or may not progress. There was a time that they really questioned exercise really were have an effect on scoliosis treatment because we can see that it had no significant effect on curve progression. However, with the onset of scoliosis specific exercises, the difference between scoliosis specific exercises exercises and general exercises that these exercises are based upon the scoliosis presentation and they're normally very asymmetrical in design and they're designed to help manage the scoliosis that's being treated. So they're prescribed based upon the presentation of scoliosis. With this onset, now there's complete treatment programs that are really entirely exercise based. Now, I don't recommend just doing an exercise based approach when looking at scoliosis. I definitely recommend combining many, many other treatments, but some methods can include things like Schroth method, CAS, Scoli balance, Lyons, Debochowitz, Clear. There are many different types of scoliosis exercise programs that exist out there. And the research kind of really looks at all these methods to be relatively equal because what qualifies a scoliosis specific exercise or a scoliosis corrective exercise is the way it's prescribed. Somebody's knowledge, they need to have the ability to prescribe these exercises. In the Schroth method, normally these are physiotherapists that are trained in the Schroth method. And this is an exercise approach that's been around for many years. And the Schroth message uses exercises that focus on three-dimensional correction for the scoliosis curvature. And it's really kind of the hallmark thing is Schroth breathing exercises. They also use other exercises in postural awareness and to help improve spinal alignment and posture. But the Schroth breathing exercise is what a lot of the patients use while they're performing other activities to help kind of improve the shape of their torso. When we look at CAS exercises for scoliosis, CAS stands for Scientific Exercise Approach for Scoliosis. And CAS uses a self-corrective techniques. And this is customized for each and every patient and their particular scoliosis and their ability to perform activities. And the goal of CAS is to use a scoliosis specific exercise to make their spine more stable and then to stimulate their nerve system System through some neuromotor activity, such as exercises, walking, for the create postural remodeling and body awareness. Other exercises combine these, these approaches. Scoli Balance uses a mirror image overcorrective technique to get somebody into an overcorrected position and then stimulate neuromuscular activity by them performing exercises. And you can see the one thing in common when we look at all these exercises is that they're all prescribed based upon the presentation of the scoliosis. 
Now, what are some general exercises that may have an effect on scoliosis? And this is where I say general exercises may affect the scoliosis indirectly. Well, one thing is something called spinal flexibility. We know the more flexible a spine is, the more responsive it can be to any type of conservative therapy. So things like pelvic tilts, like down dog, like cat and cow exercises can help improve overall spinal flexibility and just general core strength. And the more flexible and the more and the more strong someone's core is, potentially the better they can perform scoliosis specific exercises. Planking is a very common exercise that's normally recommended for scoliosis patients because it's a non compressive exercises, and it really helps improve the strength of overall back and core muscles. Leg lifts can also help engage the core without a compressive type of approach, which also can help patients respond better to scoliosis-specific exercises. And the last thing to understand is that when we look at general exercises versus scoliosis-specific exercises, the key thing is something that we look at putting somebody in a mirror image or a corrective position. These corrective positions or mirror image positions must, must be taught to you by someone who's aware of how to get you in this position. These type of exercises are typically taught by a professional that's very aware and how to teach somebody how to get somebody into this new position by teaching posture awareness and remodeling. When we look at scoliosis-specific exercises, they're important because the spine needs to maintain a natural curvatures and alignment. And the spine is surrounded by muscles to have to support the spine. And it was once thought that scoliosis was actually caused by spinal uh, by spinal muscles asymmetry. But the truth is what's happening is that the scoliosis is causing the muscles to become asymmetrical. But either way, as you improve the spine and normally in some conservative treatment, we want to change the strength of the muscles and exercises are a key component of this non-surgical approach to scoliosis. So no type of exercises should really be attempted without first having it cleared by your by your provider or a patient's scoliosis treatment provider. However, when corrective exercises are combined with other facets of non-surgical treatments like scoliosis bracing, like scoliosis therapy, like scoliosis rehabilitation, Scoliosis spines can be highly responsive and treatable, especially when they're detected early and treated early. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.